By late 1984, the striker's position was bleak. Men were returning to work, the government and coal board resolute. Public opinion had hardened against their strike. And Christmas was coming. Christmas time was terrible. That was heartbreaking. You're going to wrap the present at Christmas Eve, and you know that's not going to take place. You celebrate his Christmas together, you by celebrating children to buy him toys. But that Christmas, there was nothing. Not a thing. You could not buy anything. I think he was more um, pride, I suppose, because... It, I mean, Christmas, as well any time, is a time when you provide, and uh, because he couldn't. And this is going to be a damn sad Christmas. And that's what it turned out to be. But Brenda Nixon found some consolation in the shared hardships of a pit community. I thought it was a great time. Probably one of the best Christmases I've had, I think. Just because everyone was the same. You know, everyone banded together. And at least one of the Hatfield pickets was enjoying the festivities. Harry Harl was still in plaster, the result of his arrest in November. He was a local hero. Oh, I got more women that Christmas than I've had it since. Unbelievable. Everybody was drunk, which I suppose people wouldn't expect it to be. But there were a lot of cheap wine flying about. Brilliant. Really good brilliant atmosphere. You never walk alone. But Christmas cheer couldn't conceal the situation. Hatfield miners were reduced to stealing coal and vegetables for their families. I would never go stealing. Never stole in my life. But during miners' strike I stole. Because I had a family to feed. There's a justification of what I did with regards to stealing for my children. And so you change into this into a different person. You're not just that person who says, I Dave, how things, you know. OK. No. You now you're fighting, you, you change it to this person who becomes a lot harder. In the midst of their misery, there were moments of farce. One morning, Dave Nixon was driving back from picket duty. I was driving the van at the time, and something shot at the across the road, and, we, and I swerved it. And we looked at each other and we says, that was chicken. Eventually, one of us got this chicken, and we've got it in it back at that. So you can hear the squawk in it back, and it's getting loud. And I said, "What's happening?" So we can't ring its neck. It won't. We can't do it. And all of a sudden, we hear this banging in back at car. I says, "What are you doing?" I said, "We've just stamped on its head." I said, "Oh, never!" And then that was it. I, 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 the thought of it then. <laughs>